Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's me XR Hammer, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get acorns in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Okay, now I am currently on Soggy Skerry, okay? Um, obviously you'd never know, <laughs> just the Explorer Shores as always, right? But it is Soggy Skerry, right? And what you want to be doing, now there's a few ways of getting acorns, okay? Now, the uh, tree face, they actually drop them when you defeat them, but they can also drop sugar cane as well, which is a bit of an annoyance in a little way because they've got two drops, so there's no guaranteed. Seriously? <laughs> that was rude. Right, so yes, but they can drop them. Um, also, bloody hands, which spawn on Unholy Home, they can also drop them, okay? Which are probably better to farm because they only have the acorn as their drop, right? So I'll show you what I mean. If you go into here, into monsters, do 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 do. Bloody hands, acorn is our only drop. Okay, All right. So yeah, there we go. Right. So once you get to Soggy Scary, what you want to be doing is finding these trees. Right. They kind of look like fake trees, but right as you can see up there, that is where you get your acorns from. Okay. If you want to break them out of the tree. Now, if you take let's say some bark and some leaves back with you okay because you can grow your own okay which is pretty cool especially you know if you're going to be spending a lot of time on your aisle and i mean you can set up like monster traps you could take spy traps with you and stuff like that but i mean i don't know for me personally i've never needed that many acorns but if you do you know you could probably set up traps and whatever not but Yes, right, so, also, the Badboons will drop bark if you defeat them, and the Bodkin Boas will drop leaves, okay, which is pretty cool, so as you can see, if you don't want to farm the trees. So, yes, I will see you all in a moment when I'm back on the aisle. So, my dudes, right, I am back, and um, also, I forgot to mention that you can get acorns from Furrowfield as well. I believe it's the area near the graveyard, just as you go through the swamps, if my memory serves me right. <laughs> but yes, you can also get them from there. So, when I mentioned about bringing leaves and bark back, right, you can grow your own trees. <clears throat> okay, so, as you can see here, right, this is just like... I don't know, trial and error, right, testing, so, right, it has to be at least four bark high, right, as you can see, let me just go and find, where is the bark, there we go, there's the bark, there's the leaves, okay, so, naturally, that is four high, right, and then you need at least, by this one here, one leaf on top, right, now, this one has grown the best, right, which is basically four columns of four with one block of leaf on top of each, okay? Now, that one has grown the best. Whether or not it's because there's more tree, I'm not 100% sure, right? But this one has grown just being four high, four bark high with two leaves on it, right? And also, these two have done it, which are basically the same. And also this one, which has got two leaves on top, right, so, I mean, like, just experiment is basically all that is, because it tends to be, like, doing it one, two, and three high, they don't gain any acorns, but doing it four high with at least one leaf on the top does, right, so that is pretty cool, so, yeah, guys, that is how to get acorns, I really hope you all enjoyed it, if you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.